Yesterday, all eyes may have been on Black Ops 4 or maybe even Modern Warfare Remastered because Black Ops 4 is that main title that everybody's on right now or that a large number of the player base is on that got a slight update as of yesterday and as of also yesterday, Modern Warfare Remastered went free to play for PlayStation Plus users for an entire month and then after that, if you end up having PlayStation Plus, of course, you still have access to that after that window of time that we can download it. That said, that wasn't the only thing, because actually, as of right before yesterday's video went live, another little update went out, but this one, maybe not on the title that you were expecting. It wasn't Black Ops 4, it wasn't Modern Warfare Remastered, instead, it was Call of Duty World War II. As of yesterday, that was the third title updated in some capacity on that same day of Tuesday the 5th, and we ended up getting our first glimpse at Call of Duty World War II DLC content, in 2019. So now we're going to break down what happened as of yesterday and also what is still to come because I did have a video planned actually to talk about this weeks ago whenever it was first announced but then it got pushed back to the wayside and then eventually scrapped because it just didn't fit the timetable. But now that there is new content to talk about I think it's as decent a time as ever to discuss what's happening now and what's in the future. So as of yesterday a little update over on the Call of Duty World War 2 subreddit went live in which the official Sledgehammer Games account posted the title of update list of all the weapons added to Call of Duty World War II's loot pool this morning. It ended up simply saying, hello friends, here's a full list of all the weapons added to the loot pool as of 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time this morning. Thanks so much for your continued support of Call of Duty World War II, and simply followed by the list of 24 weapon variants added into the loot pool of World War II. So these are available out of supply drops. It is still random chance. Unfortunately, it doesn't go in with any collections where you can grind these out with armory credits or anything like that, but it is new stuff that is available in some way, shape, or form. But that list includes the M1 Garand Independent, the SDG-44 Haywire, the SVT-40 Siberian 2, the M1A1 Lil Biscuit 2, the FG-42 Kempflinsoig 2, the Toggle Action Dynamo, the Sawed Off Shotgun Acrobat, the Grease Gun Brandy 2, the Grease Gun Rosie, the WAF-28 Soggy 2, the M1903 Gumshoe 2, the M1903 Warbird, the Lee Enfield the Royal 2, the Bazooka Eagle's Nest 2, the Bazooka Vulcan 2, the Panzer Shrek Stovepipe, the Panzer Shrek Thunderclap 2, the Panzer Shrek Blitzkrieg, and the Panzer Shrek Blitzkrieg 2, along with the Machine Pistol, Metalist, Schlang, and Schlang 2, as well as the Shovel Eureka and Army Banjo 2 variants. Now, that's a lot of variants added into the game at one particular point, or the loot pool rather, because interestingly enough, a lot of these actually were in the game since last December. Not I'm talking a couple of months ago December, but the year before that, right after the launch of Call of Duty World War II, a lot of these were added into the game and were actually available to be viewed via a little bit of a, I don't want to say exploit because it didn't really change any of the properties of the game, but it was a workaround where you could go into a match with a friend, a private match, they would then set up so you could end up jumping into almost ranked rules and then whenever you were about to go and inspect a weapon associated with a collection of some sort, you could then have your friend toggle on those esports rules, so then it would have restrict things and then you could back out and see the list of every single variant in the game at that current point and a lot of them actually did have full out listings that was one big thing that kind of with this update just fills out the listing for variants that we've seen in weaponry that was not dlc weaponry the majority of weapons outside of dlc weapons will have eight to nine variants associated with them and before this update not every single weapon had up to that point so these kind of again just filled out with this but a lot of these were actually seen from the very beginning or close to the very beginning beginning of World War II, but just for unreleased variants, and a lot of them actually as well were counterpart variants that were added in in some way, shape, or form, whether that be already having an epic or a heroic variant of it, but not both. It was one or the other. So a lot of the things like the STG Haywire had the Haywire 2. That was one of my favorite variants in World War II, but as of yesterday, we finally ended up getting the STG 44 Epic Haywire added in, and same thing goes for things like the M1 Independent. We had the Independent 2 as a part of a community contract and the reward with that, but now the independent epic variant is actually now added in as well, but both the epic and heroic versions were there in the game files since all the way back to December or January of the year previously. Now it's awesome to see all these added in, and again, the just variants kind of filled out and finally completely given to all, but this isn't actually the end of it, because that's the end of the variants that were added in, but closing out that thread on the subreddit, they also ended up saying, and don't forget, there are more to come later this spring. Happy hunting. 
So this actually reiterates something they mentioned in a comment a few weeks ago at this point. I believe it's like 25 days or something like that at this point. But they ended up talking about this in relation to people asking for more content, to which at that time, Sledgehammer ended up saying, we've noticed a lot of posts like this and apologies for the delays in responsiveness. That talking about posts regarding the surplus of supply drops that players have collected since the game has kind of gone secondary to Black Ops 4. They ended up saying to those who hold out hoarding supply drops for a chance at new weapons, we appreciate your patience and are hustling to add some fresh new weapons to the game. It takes time to align internally and with our partners at Activision along with other studios. We have a plan that's close to final for unlocking some unreleased variants for existing weapons starting next month as of right now and what happened yesterday, and some bigger batched releases of new weapons spanning all categories starting later this spring. So that's right, we're not done here with DLC content in 2019 for World War II because new weapons entirely are coming at some point during the spring. Realistically, that could be any time from like now to the end of May, so it's a pretty big spread with not really much to help pinpoint it down to what we may end up seeing as a finite or specific date. But to me, biggest questions come down to what this might even mean in terms of weaponry, because we do end up seeing that they say there's going to be weapons across all of the classifications, so that's going to be a large drop and probably the last DLC touch up for World War II at all because at that point and we'll explain it a little further in the video but at that point they're focusing heavily on their next title. That said, that means that these weapons will probably span the likes of rifles, SMGs, LMGs, snipers, shotguns, and secondaries, as well as melees, pistols, and possibly even launchers. So we're looking at around at least, at least seven brand new weapons dropping this spring. And what I think would be really cool with this is that we might see some experimental weaponry. While it's not entirely the only route that Sledge could take, because there's still a ton of weapons from World War II that could inevitably make it into the game, being historically accurate in some regard, they're also not necessarily limited to what they can do with this, because if you take a look at the final DLC of World War II, Covert Storm and the entirety of DLC4's map pack really focused on a lot of the Reich's use of experimental weaponry and what they tried to do. I mean, the war map even has a UFO in it, so it's pretty out there in the terms of that stuff, so it offers a lot of creative freedom for those design weapons. Maybe you end up seeing something of, say, an experimental plasma launcher or a cooler variation like the antimatter variants of the Proto X1. Those sort of things are totally out there and can definitely happen because Sledge is just having fun with it now at this point. It's extracurricular stuff that doesn't have to be deeply rooted in history, and with so much still even tying around in terms of what the Reich theoretically did with weaponry, it definitely could be something you still even play it in with World War II, and it doesn't have to be something completely outlandish that makes no sense for the time frame because while it may or may not have happened it was something that is still at least somewhat accurate to the time period so I'm definitely excited to see what they can do here with this and I'm definitely going to be jumping on to World War II to test out some of those new weapons as they come out and I'm very much so looking forward to it if I'm honest now for those still on World War II weapons are great and everything but is there any potential or hope for maps because that's also the next thing we think about probably with DLC is new maps, and that was one thing the community has over the two years or so since World War II was announced. Players wondered if we'd end up seeing any sort of expansion DLC into the Pacific Front because all of World War II was primarily based around the European theater. We saw some things go over into Russia and the Soviet Union, but that's still European side. It wasn't anything that went over into the Pacific or over into Asia. And so in that regard, the question still remains, to which that was actually answered as of recently from Sledge as well, to which again, on another thread on Reddit, Reddit, they ended up saying Pacific maps would definitely be awesome, but we're entirely focused on the European theater of war for World War II. This is a pretty common question, and while we've considered this, we're beyond the point of adding new maps to the game. And that entirely makes sense, because we are so far along that it's no longer the primary year of World War II, this sort of stuff is just extracurricular, and also in the terms of the variants, just leftover content that never saw the light of day, so it really wasn't like there was all that much that was created, and shifted the focus on from what Sledge is working on right now, to going back to adding in more content with World War II. And again, that comes back to the idea and notion that especially, given that they won't say it and it won't ever officially be confirmed until the Activision's earning call in early 2020, but they're probably already working on their next project in the pipeline and probably a decent way through at least the core fundamentals and basic building blocks of that game, presumably being another Call of Duty title. Now, as for what that may be, your guess is as good as mine, but 
that means that they don't want to take away any time from development of that to make a couple of maps here and there, maybe even in the Pacific Theater. As cool as it would be, it seems like these weapon variants that were dropped yesterday are the penultimate DLC drop until World War II is just kind of finally just let go. And while there hasn't been as much support as, say, Black Ops 3 into a year or two, World War II does still have a decent player base around it, or at least as decent as you can expect when there is a current title out that is getting all the support and so on. But it is something that now with this, we've had one DLC drop and another one to kind of close out the books and close out the final chapter of World War II, presumably coming up very, very soon. That said, wanted to keep you guys in the loop here. We got DLC weapon variants that dropped as of yesterday. Brand new DLC weapons coming up in the spring, which again, is not very much of a pinpoint precise answer, but leaves the door wide open for when we may see these, and they will be new weapons across the entirety of all the classifications in the game. That said, that's where we're going to wrap it up, so let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you guys think here of this? Are you guys looking forward to new weapons in World War II? Are you guys going to jump back onto that game when they end up dropping? Have you guys gotten any of the new variants so far within World War II as of yesterday's update? Whatever it is, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below, but hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like down below, and of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss a single thing regarding all things Call of Duty World War II, Black Ops 4, and presumably maybe what next may be Modern Warfare 4. Any updates, news, information, tips, tricks, all that good stuff we got you covered here on the channel so if anything interests you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing and if you guys also want to follow me over on twitter and instagram there's the best place to get connected outside of youtube but i can live on both those so if you guys want to strike up a conversation ask me a question whatever it may be that link is down there in the description below well let's end out of the way thank you guys all so much for watching might as well express out see you guys later take care and peace